y'all was bored and I was thinking. There have been a lot of celebrities or, you know, socialites lying in 2009. I was thinking about the end of the year, you know, so say we're all going to be dead in 2012 and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, what really means a lot? What do I want to accomplish? What do I want to do for myself before 2012 in case this really happens? What am I, what, what? I started thinking about friends, loved ones, family, regrets, happiness, goals, and I started thinking about funny things like, you know, me starting my blog, and I started thinking about what crazy celebrities are. Um, I was thinking about some of the crazy things that happened just in 2009 in general, some of the lies that have been told to us. I wrote a list down. I have my list over here. It's cold as hell out here, y'all. I'm, I'm not coming out of this hoodie. Okay. So the most current lie is that Rihanna heard the song that Chris Brown made for her. She said she didn't. Baby, I'm sorry. She said she didn't hear the song that you made for her. But if she's going to listen to you now, she sees this, what is it that you would like to say to her? Me and her have talked, me and her have spoken about the situation, and she knows how sorry I am. She's heard the song. So. How do you know she's heard the song? She said she didn't hear the song. I played the song for her. When did you do that? The day I did it. And when was that? I did it maybe a month after the situation. And what was her reaction when she, when she heard the song? Honestly, I mean, I can be honest with you, and mm -hmm, I'm not, I'm not even sure. gonna. Uh, she cried when she first heard the song. Now, what that proves, whether she did or didn't, I don't know. I guess he's trying to say she does have a soft spot for me, and she's not all, uh, <laughs> she's not all hard like she tried to portray in her interview. I guess that's what he's trying to say. Either way, they're still not getting back together, and their record sales are both still the same. So. I don't know. Whatever. Then Tila Tequila comes on Twitter and she's saying that, hey, by the way, uh, postscript, Rihanna has herpes and that's why Chris Brown knocked her ass out. And she's saying that we have people that work in the same camps and they're saying, and I know that she has herpes. That's 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 that. All the while, Tila Tequila is pissed because Rihanna politely said that she would put her on mute if she had a universal remote for the world and sluts. <laughs> Everyone in between. Shoot, let's see, let's keep getting muted. <coughs> Along with Tiffany Evans. Who, by the way, is upset that she got called out about calling people devil worshippers. You can't be going around calling people devil worshippers and expecting people not to comment on that. That's crazy as hell to think that somebody would not make a comment on that. Why wouldn't you make a comment? If somebody called me a devil worshiper, I would definitely have a comment back for them about that. That's that's not a nice thing to say about somebody or to somebody. Anyway, but, you know, I, I'm feeling like, do we know if Tequila, Tequila, Tequila is lying about this or what? She's definitely lying about being a lesbian, which is a big lie of 2009. Hmm, what are some other lies in 2009? The fucking video phone release date. It was supposed to be out, I remember what day. Didn't come out. Uh, one of the people on YouTube, Brian B, he almost killed himself. He broke his TV because it didn't come out. He was so upset. Is this the motherfucking video on? No, the motherfucking video ain't on. This shit pissed me off. I gave it two minutes. I gave it to 5.32. By 5.32 and the motherfucking video didn't air, I lost my fucking mind. I broke my goddamn TV. Look at my fucking TV. I broke my own goddamn TV. Threw the shit in the motherfucking ground because MTV want to air this shit. Broke his, broke his TV. What's that man supposed to watch now? Like you said, what people supposed to, huh? Hmm? Tragic. Y'all pumped up Beyonce and Lady Gaga's video. The shit didn't even come out. Then you guys didn't have an explanation as to why. It just didn't come out. That was a lie. Y'all, Balloon Boy, that was a lie. Well, we knew that was going to be, we knew it was a lie. People with common sense knew it was a lie. Because clearly, by a picture of that balloon, you could tell that it, it could not support a small child. 
maybe it was like an infant, but the child was clearly like a child. Like they could read, write, function, wipe his own ass, go to school, tie a shoe, everything like that. Couldn't fit in that balloon. Pleasure P. What's going on, Pleasure P? Hmm. You touching kids or not, Pleasure P? Is it a lie or not? I want it to be a lie because I like his song Under. But I can read and I'm not so sure it is. Either way, somebody's fucking lying in this situation. Because he released a statement saying he doesn't even know who A. Goldstein is. So either he's lying or Pretty Ricky's lying. Somebody's lying. But there's some fucking lies being told. That just goes to show you that celebrities are hella dysfunctional. Like, like maybe even worse than just regular people. They also lied and said the Lady Gaga had a penis. She didn't. She doesn't. She does. That hoe does a mean tuck. Oh. Mm, I'll leave that out because I don't want the Beyonce stands to come for me. Well, I'm done for now. Y'all subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to try not to freeze. <laughs>